G'day guys, Jimmy here on the job again. Today I'm doing another cam test. I've tested about five different cams in the AU Falcon and I have got a favourite but today what I'm doing is I'm just changing this uh, 235 at 50. I'm going to reduce it slightly with some uh, shims. Um, at the moment you can see this one's reground so when you regrind a cam of this nature uh, it's quite a big cam. See how far the lifter sticks out of the body? I've got two shims and a washer in there. So, you know, you're looking at uh, five and a half mil sitting out where it normally would be. I'll go show you the shims that I've used before in the past. All right, these are the shims. Get these from Precision, Precision Shims in Victoria. Uh, just speak to Chris. They come in a multitude of sizes. I've got a selection here of 1.8 to about 2.4 there's huge variations on most valve trains particularly with old motors all right let's go back to the engine so today what I'll be doing is just taking out that rocker assembly um, and I'll take take out the washer that I've got in between the shims and I'll just run it at its um, the lash that it uh, ends up with which is around about 25 thou which is quite big um, 25 thou isn't uncommon for um, race cams. When I was racing the Tirana, it was uh, 28 thou. Um, when it was a solid, this is a hydraulic cam, but I'm I'm using it as a as a hydro. Uh, sorry, this is a hydraulic cam, but I'm using it as a solid. Uh, just to play play around with it, the timing settings, cam timing, and then I'll be making up another cam um, that'll supersede this one. This uh, absolute ball terror of a cam from about. Two and a half thousand to about six and a half. Um, very, very, very good on the acceleration. A um, little bit, a little bit rough in the idle. It does take an acquired. Uh, you know, you have to be used to the throttle when driving a, a vehicle with a cam like this. They are difficult for the average person to drive around with. Uh, so ideally, I'd probably want to take this one out to about 118 lobe center. At the moment, it's on 108, and I'm running it slightly retarded. Anyway guys, um, let's take this valve train off. Alright guys, um, we've got the uh, valve train assembly off. We had a little accident. Down there is a shim. And down there is a shim. I should have known better because I've got stacked shims. You could always put a rag down your oil galleries. To prevent that from happening because the lifters are you know, barely sitting in there with their little ceramic o-ring at the end of them. Anyway, we'll go over and show you that. Um, you can probably notice this other thing I've got here on the two on the spark plug leads. I've got some heat shields. It's really, really important when running a set of headers. I've got a set of headers here under that cover. Uh, it gets up to 350 degrees there, so you know every bit helps the electrical system by uh, shielding it from the heat. All right, let's go have a look at the rocker assembly. All right, so here we are. This is what we're looking at. So we lost number one fell out and number five on the uh, intake size let's have a look as a reference point you can see just how much that sticks out pull it out there we go there's a little o-ring on the end of it usually helps keeping it in place but when you've got that much spacing on them it's uh, quite difficult. Normally you'd have about 20 thou, you would see 20 to 30 thou in there. I'll, um, I'll show you what it should look like. Alright, so this is with one shim installed. And this is with multiple. Have a look at the difference, eh? So, Basically what we're looking at is a pack like that. When I pack them up for a groin cam because you lose a lot of material off the base circle. So it's about, um, I think it's about 180 thou we lost. It's pretty staggering, it's quite a bit. So yeah, two shims and a washer, hard washer in the, in the middle. Um, ideally it's best to use the valve lashes that I showed you before. Um, but I'm still doing some trial work on this to find out the best outcome. Alright, stay tuned for a bit more.